She says, uh, great, uh, Education 225, character building, character building is the most important work ever entrusted to human beings. And never was its diligent study so important as now. You know, when you hear the stories of people like James and Ella White, when you hear stories of people like Sojourner Truth, when you hear stories of people like Ernest Shackleton, have you ever heard that story? The man who went a hundred years ago to the South Pole or attempted the trip. You wanna hear a phenomenal story of the test of human courage and faith in God and patience. A phenomenal test. And Ernest Shackleton, he was a great leader. He was a great leader. He loved his men. You know, they got trapped in the ice. They, were, it was, they tried to plow the ship through. They were unable to do so. And he and his men had to abandon their ship. There was around 30 or so men on the trip. They camped on the ice. There were times when the ice broke and split. Uh, one man fell in. Uh, they took, when they left the ship, they took the bare necessities and Ernest Shackleton took one page of the Bible from one chapter in the book of Job. He took one page of the Bible from Psalms 23 and one other page. That was all the Bible he took. They were condensing everything down to the smallest minutia. And the story, the experience that they went through, a test of human experience was just phenomenal. Um, eventually they made their way by their lifeboats to an island called Elephant Island. Uh, after camping on the ice quite a bit, and then he and five other men got in one lifeboat, left the main bulk of the men on Elephant Island with his associate leader, Frank Wilde, who was to keep them uh, and watch over them while they were gone. And they, he, Shackleton and his five men traveled in a lifeboat 800 miles over the most phenomenal conditions in the ocean. Uh, one night, he thought he saw a break in the skies. It was dark and he thought he saw a break in the skies and he went to tell the men in the boat, hey, it looks like the weather's breaking. It was not a break in the skies, it was a rogue wave. 100 feet in height that was coming at them. And somehow they survived it on a little lifeboat. They were constantly wet and cold. They had to throw out two sleeping bags because they became molded and soggy and wet. Uh, they lived on the strictest rations of food. They finally made it to Georgia Island. He and this smaller group going for help to rescue the other group. And it was impossible for them for some reason to sail around to the station. There was a whaling station there where people would be. It was impossible for them to sail around that island. So they had to go across Georgia Island. And from what the story we heard, no one had ever crossed this island before. No one. The conditions were so stern and mountainous and so cold no one had ever done it, but Shackleton and the two men that he was with, he left several of the five that on one side, and they, he said, wait, and we'll go across. They had to do it in a continuous march. They made their way and then lost their way, made their way, lost their way. The three of them tied ropes together, and it was, of course, icy, mountainous, snowy. At one point, they were up on this very narrow ridge, and they... The fog was coming down and they knew if they stayed up there it would be certain death because the, the ridge was so precipitously narrow and yet they did not have time to get down to the bottom of the mountain. So the only option they had was to tie each other, uh, one another together hooked by rope. They coiled the ropes into mats and sat on them like sleds and they slid the distance down the mountain and they, they actually made it down the bottom of the mountain. But they, 
At one point, he let his men sleep for five minutes. He himself dozed off for one minute, but he knew if he went to sleep, they would die. He knew it, so they had to march, 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 march for 36 hours under phenomenal uh, opposing circumstances mentally. Finally, they made it around to the whaling station, and of course, they looked like a mess. They hadn't taken a bath in 10 months, and, and uh, you know. But when they, here's the point of the story, I can't, uh, I'll just get off this real quick, but here's, here's what Shackleton said to one of his men when they finally got to the whaling station. When they were marching across Georgia Island, he said it seemed like there was not just three of us. He said it seemed as if the presence of a fourth person was with us the whole time and the other two men concurred. They were conscious of a fourth person with them on that journey. Uh, wonderfully inspiring story. Uh, didn't mean to get off on that, wow. Um, but anyway, character building is the most important work ever committed to human beings and never was its diligent study so important as now. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Ellen White is right. When you read Ellen White and you check her out by the Bible, the Bible also brings out the importance of character building. That's what the gospel of Christ is all about, is to transform the character so that the man is now changed from a, a weakling into a strong man and from a sinner into a saint. 